Hi Wanderers, welcome back to Jog My Memory. This video is looking at drainage basins for grade 10 to 12 geography. So a drainage basin is basically an area that is drained by a river system. You need to know the different parts of a drainage basin in order to understand other concepts. This image in front of you basically shows the different parts. Here you have the watershed, which encompasses the water source and tributaries which leads to the river mouth. Drainage density is basically describing how many streams there are in a drainage basin. And this is effect, affected by factors that affect your runoff and infiltration. When you have an increase in infiltration, there are fewer rivers, which results in a lower drainage density. When there is an increase in your runoff, you have more rivers and an increase in drainage density. So let's look at low drainage density. Basically, it describes to be a river with fewer tributaries. There's soft rainfall, gentle slopes, and an abundance of vegetation, which leads to an increase in infiltration. There's also very little rain, therefore the ground can still hold more water. However, high drainage density is the opposite. There are more tributaries, you have heavy rainfall, steep slopes and very little vegetation which decreases the infiltration. There's lots of rain and the ground water cannot hold more water. Different drainage patterns can be found. Individual streams flow over a surface in stream channels. These channels will cut into the rock surface where it is easiest to erode the rock. These are called your drainage patterns. So in the exam, you may either be asked to identify the drainage pattern, to describe the pattern and or to explain the cause of the drainage pattern in relation to the underlining rock structure. So let's look at a few examples. The first example we have in front of you is the dendritic drainage pattern. Here it looks like branches of a tree with tributaries joining the main river at acute angles. It occurs where the underlying rock of equal resistance occurs, namely either horizontal sedimentary rock, igneous rock or metamorphic rock. The next example is your trellis. Here you have parallel streams with short tributaries joining at right angles. It occurs where the surface rock is of alternate resistance, so you have strong and weak rock, or it occurs where sedimentary rock is folded. And lastly, you have the radial drainage pattern. Here, streams flow outwards from one raised central point. This can be a dome or a volcano. Rivers flow downhill and away from the highest central point. For referencing, I use the Mind the Gap Geography Study Guide for Grade 12. Here's a special shout out to Nawazi Zondi from Glagani High School in KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa. Thank you for reaching out to jog my memory and I hope this video benefited you and the rest of the viewers. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Feel free to drop me an email at jogmymemory at gmail.com. Continue jogging your memory and keep wandering with me. Thank you.